up front here we took uh, everything loose we took the uh, the motor mount bolts loose off of here uh, I guess you can see those uh, there's two nuts that we had to take off there uh, what else we took uh, the shielding off of the that goes over the front axle uh, there was some shielding that went over that and we had to take it out because I tried to pull there's one bolt uh, for the motor mount on the back side of, of this uh, uh, engine for the motor mount and it, it's just supposed to be a bolt that you get loose and you slide it out and I could not get that bolt loose no matter what I did so uh, what I did instead is I just went ahead and removed the bolts that go up to the engine. Maybe you can see it. I'm going to try and get in there. And you can see where I, I took out the bolts. There's a bolt right. Let's see if I can point to it right there. If you can see it on the camera, I don't know. So there's one there. And then there's another one a little further back. And then there's, uh, so that, that's those two. And then there's two more that are on top. So uh, I was able to get the four bolts that hold the motor mount to the engine off uh, in order to get those loose. So that's done. I went ahead and pulled the, uh, What's it called? There's one bolt right here, as you can see it. It goes to the power steering, uh, to the rack and pinion, where the two hoses go in there. And I took that loose, so the hoses are gonna stay. Here's one hose hanging down here. Um, it's gonna stay with the, with the engine. So I'm just letting it drain right now. And then the other one, it's one that goes up to the reservoir for the power steering and I went ahead and put it up here. I went ahead and covered it up so that it doesn't, uh, the O-ring doesn't get messed up or dirty uh, from that. So we did that and don't forget there's one thing that is easy to forget. There's a, a ground strap right here on the passenger shock or shock tower or strut tower there's a a little bit of a of a ground strap there and then there's the ground strap that we talked about earlier that's back there that goes to the cab uh, don't forget those or those will get you hung up uh what else so i went ahead and i couldn't find a place to to mount the the engine uh, lifting points. So I went ahead and I got this, this strap wrapped around the bottom of the oil pan and it, it goes all the way around the engine on the bottom uh, where it doesn't put any pressure on anything but the engine. So hopefully that's gonna be the way to hold that up. I went ahead and disconnected the two uh, brake lines here uh, so that took care of that. I uh, went ahead and unplugged the wires from the harnesses that stay with the frame that we'll have to swap over to the other frame. So there's several plugs. There's these two here. And there's, a, there's three. There's actually three of them. This one goes to the brake, uh, to the little brake sensor. Uh, so we disconnected disconnected that and then I also disconnected the steering off of the rack and pinion that comes up to the uh, steering shaft what I did to make sure that we didn't mess this up is I went ahead and I put a mark on the uh, steering to try and get it lined up again the same way when it goes back together so I marked that on there and I marked it also on here. So uh, if it gets turned around or what have you, I'll have it in the right place. Um, what else did we do? 
yeah like I said we pulled all of the cab bolts is here uh, the other thing we did is I, I went ahead and set up these blocks as you can see I got I got these blocks set up and I have them supporting the cab I'm gonna set up some more here uh, where I'm gonna set them underneath these uh, I removed the uh, the steps that go into the truck uh, I pulled them off they're over here and I went ahead and uh, that's the best lifting point it looks like the sturdiest lifting point for the cab so I'm gonna go ahead and set up these blocks I'm gonna put uh, those there and I'm, I'm running those uh, jack stands right up underneath there so they don't move actually worked out pretty good because these jack stands fit right right inside there right where it needs to be lifted and this kind of helps it stay locked in place here so I'm gonna do the same thing with the ones up front here I'm gonna set the right now I still have the jack stands on the frame because I don't want it to fall yet and uh, what we're gonna do next is well we're gonna put the other jack stands here on both sides uh, then we're gonna lift we're gonna get this uh, a frame in place here uh, yeah by the way also don't forget to disconnect the wire that goes this this wire here see where I got it here this wire here goes up on the hood so don't forget to disconnect that before you try taking off the hood or you're gonna have uh, have it hang up on you and you you could drop the hood so I disconnected that and then on the other side it looks like there's a little uh, squirter hose that goes uh, let's see if I can find it here it is so this hose is also goes up to the to the front and it squirts the uh, the front front facing camera so um, uh, so you need to be sure to disconnect that there's a joint right up there where it hooks in uh, right 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 there so that's where it hooks in you, you can disconnect it there and then pull the little clips and it comes off and then don't forget the strap also the ground strap for the hood that goes right in there so uh, that way when you pull the hood off then you just have to take the bolts and pull the hood off uh, so we did that as well so I guess uh, we're almost ready to go the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, and set up those other jack stands here uh, but before we do that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the the back uh, axle off and uh, we'll take it off because we're ready we're already seeing we've already started up in this frame so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna put a jack stand when I remove those two under the frame I'm gonna move one of those up to hold up the uh, transmission uh, so we'll do that and then um, and then what else uh, we're gonna stick the, the engine hoist we're gonna stick the, the engine hoist we're gonna take it once we have our a-frame over the top of the truck uh, it's gonna go over the top we're gonna go ahead and stick the engine hoist here and lift the frame from uh, these points right here we're gonna wrap a chain around the, this frame column and this one's all boogered up that's why I wanted to do it there is I'm gonna wrap a chain around there and then I'm gonna lift it I'm gonna lift it up so I can get the whole plane up high and then I'll go ahead and strap the engine and I'll suspend it on top of the a-frame that's gonna go over the top and then I'll go ahead and let it down and then uh, I will have the uh, uh, the engine hoist holding this up and then that way we can start letting this frame down uh, with the engine hoist and the uh, air jack that I have 
on the back. I'll pull the wheels off the, the front and then I'll set my uh, dollies, uh, my wheel dollies underneath uh, the tires so that we can wheel them here. And then on the back side, when we get that air jack down, we'll set one of those uh, dollies on the back of it so that it'll roll easy to the front. And then uh, we'll see if we get clearance here. I think we'll have clearance. If not, I think we'll have uh, enough space to maneuver the, uh, the thing uh, over to where we need to have it to pull it out. If we don't, we'll go ahead and drop it all the way down. I'll remove the engine uh, hoist and I'll go ahead and lift the engine with cab and everything from the front. We'll tip it up so that we can roll that, that whole frame out of there. Uh, for the time being, I'm probably not going to uh, start uh, to pull it all the way out. I'm probably just going to roll it forward so it gives me a little space here to work. And then I'm going to try and get stuff transferred over to the other frame here before I finish pulling everything out and get it out of the way because the idea is to pull it here, transfer stuff over at least the uh, suspension uh, pieces, move those over to the new frame. And then the idea is to, to wheel that this way and then push it out that way towards where the trailer is. We'll move the trailer and then we'll just move that frame out that way. And the only thing we'll need to transfer once we get that done is the lines and the, uh, the wiring. And so we'll do, we'll move all that stuff over uh, pretty quickly. And then we can get this frame in underneath uh, the truck. I think that's, uh, that's the plan for, for right now. And uh, if everything works out, I mean, I'm gonna try and leave the suspension where it is uh, as, as far as the, uh, the struts. Uh, it's a lot harder to work in there with it and those bolts and stuff is twisted, mangled. Uh, I don't know that I can get some of them off. So I'm gonna bring it out here. Whereas if I need to, I can take a Sawzall and just cut them out with the Sawzall. And, uh, and then we'll worry about the other one. If it doesn't fit with all the suspension on it, then I know the other side won't fit. So I won't put the the uh, struts back in there. I mean, the coilovers, I won't put them back in there until it's it's inside there. And then we'll lift it up and, and assemble that, that stuff there. So that's kind of the plan. That's where we are. Uh, yeah, that was a long day to get, get all that done. Uh, so that was uh, yesterday. It got a little late on me, so I didn't have a chance to record. But uh, this is this is the plan for today. And so... Well, that's going to do it for this episode. So please um, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, you know, if you like it, leave some comments. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.